So in this issue of LRO TV, we're here at Exmoor Trim in Somerset and we're going to be looking at the reupholstering and the construction of some seat covers and going through a step-by-step -step guide on how to fit them to your own Defender seats. You need a spike, a pair of pliers, screwdriver, scissors, mallet and any small hammer and adhesive. First thing we need to do is release the two tabs on the back of the seat. Bend the tags out and then lift the retaining bar that runs through the back of the cover so it's free. Push the cover forward so it puckers up so you can get at the bar and then just slide it out. Next thing to do is remove the little retaining pins and the best way to do it is with a small pair of scissors under the cord and lift them out. Then we need to release the retaining bead that holds the cover in place. Sometimes the ends will be squashed up a little bit if, the, if that's the case. Just put a screwdriver in and just lever that out a little bit to make it a little bit loose. And then you should be able to start and release the retaining bead. Pull the retaining bead completely out. All right, the next thing we want to do is pull the piping out of the retaining channel all the way round. And the cover is normally free. Sometimes it will stay glued to the centre panel, so you'll just have to peel it off. Take the old foam off, and it will make a mess, it's very crumbly. You only need to get the loose off. The next thing we want to do is bond the new foam to the seat base. Where we need to glue, we need to go across the seat base, make a cross, round the back channel, all the way round to here, and then on the top, retaining channel all the way around and on the front of the seat pan here. On the foam we need to put our adhesive there, across the base and across and right round the edge and right round the back here. One corner, go to the other corner, come to the front just squeeze the foam back so it's just a fraction overhanging the front on both corners and squeeze. Come to the sides, use your fingers just to pull the foam back and make sure that that's sitting in the shape it should do. Turn over, nice pat down, that's now ready for covering. Take your new cover, turn inside out the back edge of the cover, line that with the edge of the foam and on the sew lines or the salvage make sure that it will lay in the grooves in the foam so you need to get that cover central. Lift the cover halfway back from the back and hold with your left hand. With your adhesive you need to glue this whole panel, Take a, make sure that you get adhesive on the edges here because they will sit in these recesses and that helps give it a nice shape. Next thing, fold your cover back, smooth the centre and smooth it out to the edges. Pull the foam back with your hand and tuck this into the little recess and give a smooth down. Same on the other side, just to make sure it sits in there nicely. Turn your base round, push the cover in and fold back. Don't glue, glue all the way to the front. If you glue up to about there, on there and there on the cover, pull your cover forward now, smooth in the centre and make sure that this salvage goes into the channel again. Now we put that to one side for about 10 minutes, and let the glue go off and that will be ready for trimming. The next thing we have to do to this seat is take the back cover off. It's easier to leave the seat frame complete because it makes it easier to work on for when you're pulling the cover back on. So the first thing we need to do is release this retaining bead. Get a small spike and poke this up the end until it separates. A little bit fiddly. There we are. Once it separates you can either pull it apart or you can use some sort of tool just to prise it apart like so. Okay. When you separate your cover, watch out for old retaining bars. 
they sometimes slip out the back. Turn the seat on its side, get the cover, and start peeling up. Both ways. Headrest stalk, we need to knock that out. Once it's gone, it should pull out. There we are. Right, the next thing we need to do is release the back cover hooks. And we do this by pulling the bar out. Just poke them through with your finger. That's what we need to do. That cover should now come off. Next thing we do is take the old foam off. And all you need to do is just release it gently. Pull the flap up here. Just ease it off frame. Small hammer, just tap it off. Take your cover off. Right, the next thing we're going to do is stick the back foam onto the back of the frame. And we need to glue where you can see the old foam is, on that bar there, down this side here. Don't spray too far down here because the overspray shows when the cover's on. The next thing we need to do is glue the foam and you have to glue it down in the channel here, both sides, okay, round the edge. Now, you don't have to go around here, just follow it round the edge, the shape of the foam, all the way around, like so. And on there. A little bit of adhesive on the back of this bracket. This bar now sits in the shape of the foam. So one corner first, get into position, just touch down gently. Go to the other corner, set up. Turn the seat and the foam onto its side, making sure that this bar sits right in the foam. This straight bit here goes to the underside of the bracket there. So in. Before you touch your foam down, just pull it to the top of the seat slightly to lift the foam up and touch down. And all you need to do then is set your foam up so it's more or less level with the tubing. Run your hands down the sides, make sure it's all bonded. Using both thumbs, just roll that back over onto the bracket. And just snip them off. Otherwise that shows through the cover.